vende la tarjeta a su vez 126 vale y cómo lo cargo aquí mismo te doy extra y se da el crédito cuánto vale un viaje cada viaje 42 a ver te doy mil nomás mil directo o 500 500 creo que mejor a ver. ahí así ahí dice confirmado ok So we have got ourselves a subway card. I'm in the subway right now. Here in Buenos Aires and yeah, in Argentina, the subway stations work like this, that you have to get these, uh, these cards um, to travel around the whole city. It's, rain, it's generally how the, how the transport, the public transport system works here in uh, Argentina in general as I've been able to find out with the other cities that I've been in so far we've been having to buy these uh, these cards then you then top them up with credit so it looks like this A little blue card but it's different in every city so you can't just buy one in the first city and then bring it everywhere today we are somewhere in the center of uh, Buenos Aires we're looking where it's a station called Federico La Croce. And we're gonna go and look for the Barrio Chino. I saw on the map that this station is relatively close to something called Barrio Chino. And that sounds very interesting to me. A Chinatown in Argentina. If it's anything like photos I've seen of Chinatowns in other cities, I've never been to a Chinatown anywhere in any city in the world so I'm excited let's go check what Chinatown in Argentina looks like and then yeah let's go explore check out the city look how it looks pretty cool oh, nearly got banged by a bird there these avenues buses tree-lined avenues, it's really cool here. Busy, 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 as you can imagine. Since it is Argentina's capital, it is Buenos Aires, one of those notorious mega cities of the world. Now let's go, let's go explore. As you can see on this building over here look at that I see one I see two and I see three you might not see that one that's behind the tree over there people are getting ready for the World Cup flags are coming out on the balconies over there on the house check it out over there this is seems to be a standard Argentinian apartment block like something between five to, to 10 stories with these with these um, balconies there with we have it on this side as well with these long balconies where people sit have their terraces have their drinks their breakfast their dinner their lunch come watch you over the street they're really really cool those those old old school apartment buildings like that there's a there's a nice example right there take a look at it this one over here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories there. Eight, I think there's a penthouse or something on the top. With these uh, little fence in front of it. That seems to be a very classic Argentinian apartment building. As I can just see, even the bus driver here is getting ready for the World Cup. Vamos Argentina. Let's go. When even the bus driver is getting ready. It looks like a tour bus of some sort of thing that he's travel transporting 
uh, tourists around for these. It looks like a kind of fancy area that I'm that I'm in right here, that I'm just passing through on my way to Chinatown. Chinatown should be down here to the left. But check out this street here, really cool. With the trees lining down, which you see quite a lot in the Argentinian cities, these tree-lined avenues on each side, also this way. Really, really cool. Really beautiful old architecture interesting old architecture i should say so yeah that was just a little note on the way towards chinatown as we explore the beautiful city that is buenos aires let's go explore some more So we have beautiful examples here of this avenue here, these old school um, apartment blocks here in Buenos Aires, how they used to build what used to be exclusive skyscrapers before they built what's called, uh, what's the, the modern area, I think it's called Puerto Madero, the, the new modern area with fancy skyscrapers. But take a look at this. So this is the skyscraper, the entrance here. They still have the old, old school furniture here. Take a look at the colors inside. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can myself get in. But look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I really enjoy this. It's just every skyscraper here has this kind of beautiful old school entrance. You can imagine yourself like an old, what was his name? Sean Connery. Uh, the old James Bond back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, that type, of, that type of time frame is what I'm imagining. When these skyscrapers, as you see here, were the modern hot thing in the world of skyscraper architecture. I love this. When you just walk around, you arrive in a new city, and you just walk around without much of a plan. You just kind of like, I have today, Barrio Chino, Chinatown. We're gonna go that direction and we're just gonna see what happens on the walk. I love that. When you just walk without any real expectations of, of what you're going to see, what you're going to experience. Oh, nearly walked out in front of a car there. And you just, yeah. Get, fill, get filled with new smells, new sounds, new observations. That's just beautiful. I wish you could, I wish you could put that yeah, in, a, in a bottle, make a beer, a craft beer that tastes, that tastes like that. Unfortunately, whatever reminds, of, reminds each of us of that is, is different. For each person but yeah check these apartment blocks out here's another and actually that looks like a a new version of that type of apartment block where they are building it to kind of fit in with that old school as you see over there what does my eye spot here take a look at that the entrance to chinatown Chinatown in Argentina. I certainly didn't expect to be able to to find Chinatown in the middle of Buenos Aires, in the middle of Argentina. There we go, take a look at that. Right there behind me. What else do we have here? We have even got a little dragon statue here. Take a look at him. Asociación Barrio del China. The Chinese. The Association of the Chinatown of Buenos Aires. That's what it says here. Now that looks cool. 
instantly you start seeing <laughs> all these merch kind of shops selling all sorts of stuff I'm looking to see if I can find some Chinese food maybe that would be really cool take a look at the decor here we've got the typical Chinese uh, I don't really know what you call these like lantern like looking uh, things hanging on the hanging on the, the light poles looking fancy given that Chinese vibe to it otherwise it doesn't look that Chinese <laughs> yet anyways let's see if we can find someone who has some Chinese food that would make it look very Chinese for me here what do we have check it out Lai Lai I see something over here and there's a man on the scooter very much like China let's see what they have hola tiene comida china no conozco nada me puedes guiar un poco que es picante algo así nada picante ah. y qué son los diferentes este tofu sí. tofu este mm. interesante y esa cosa que era Pancito de verdura. pan de verdura ok cuánto vale uno de esos 300 uno puedo probar ¿Sí? este ¿Qué verdura es? Not the most talkative lady here. ¿Qué verdura es? De no la verdad de repollo. ¿Oh? Repollo. Repollo. Okay. ¿Y cómo es la historia de por qué barrio chino? ¿Cómo se fundaron que los área china aquí? ¿Sabes? No sabes. Pero tú eres China, ¿no? De Taiwán. Taiwán. Ah, ok. Amigos de China. Y el año que viene. Más o menos. Más o menos. Vale. Te dejo. Pasa. All right. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo? Aquí sales. Ahí ves. Ah, tienes. Yo de Dinamarca. Dinamarca, ¿conoces? Sí. Denmark. Ah, to Taiwan. ¿Cómo llegaste aquí? Hace muchos años. ¿Muchos años? ¿Cuántos años? 37 años. 37 años. Wow. Pero naciste en Taiwan. Sí. ¿Cómo es comparado con Taiwan y Buenos Aires? Son dos cosas diferentes. ¿Cómo? Es diferente. Muy diferente, ¿no? El estilo de vida aquí. Sí. Uh, mucho caliente. Yo vení de, de vacaciones. Sí, estoy viajando. Uh, caliente. Es, el pan es masa de arroz o no, de harina. De harina normal, de trigo. Qué calor. A ver, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Andrea. Andrea. Muchas gracias. Sí, sí, Probaré. Sí. Sebastián. Sebastián. Gracias. ¿Allá que hablan castellano también? Sí, no, danés. Danés. Danés es diferente idioma. De, de los vikingos. Ah, sí. ¿Y dónde aprendiste castellano? Aquí en Bolivia, en Latinoamérica, ah, que, ah, viviendo ah, en Bolivia. Ah, en Bolivia. Sí, sí, sí. Por eso. Pero hablan muy bien. Gracias. Mm. ¿Qué tiene? ¿Arroz y de pollo? El repollo tiene no, carne vegetariana. 
Ah, carne vegetariana, como sí. tipo tofu, soya, sí. carne de soja. Ah, ok. Rico. Mm. All right. So like a uh, vegetarian meat is what we have in this in this bun here. It's basically a bread bun with vegetables. So a vegetarian thingy. Interesting taste. Unfortunately, oh check this. Cool statue here. A Chinese dragon statue kind of thingy. So, looks like it was a good decision to come to Chinatown and see what we can find. Let's try and find some more food. Let's go. Coming around the corner, I spot another shop with a lot of interesting. This one has more descriptions on it in terms of what it is. Let's see. Chorizo chino. Hola. ¿Cuál recomiendas de la de todo ese um, comida? No Albondidas conozco mucho. Albondigas de camarón. ¿Cómo? Albondigas de camarón. Al chino. Albondigas de camarón. Sí. ¿Cuál es eso? Albaño. Alban. Aquí. Sí. Langosti langostino Rabas. frito. Rabas. Mm. ¿Puedo probar un poco de diferentes, así? Viene por pinchos. Claro. Uno, dos. Eh, a ver, probamos el langostino y el camarón, entonces. Como, como dices. Ah, ok. ¿Tú conoces...? Tú no eres chino. No. No. ¿Pero conoces la historia de cómo se llegaron los chinos aquí? No, tampoco. Tampoco. La chica ya tampoco. <risa> ¿Pero tú haces la, la comida o...? No, hay que primero. Un chino hace. ¿Pero él tampoco es chino? No. <risa> ¿Han aprendido? ¿Cómo? ¿Algo más? Eh, a ver, un, algo para tomar. Un agua no más tiene. No. ¿Tomo asiento aquí? Sí. Vale. Okay. 1400 sería ¿Cómo? 1400. ¿Pago ahora o después de comer? Ahora. Ahora, oh, ok. A ver. Ahí. 1400 dices. Sí. Ok. One, two. Aquí tienes. Bien. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Juana. Juana. Servite. ¿Y tú eres de acá? Sí. ¿De Buenos Aires? De Buenos Aires. ¿O de otro? No, de Buenos Aires. De Buenos Aires. Es lindo toda esta zona, ¿no? Es lindo, sí, capitán. Muchos árboles. Especialmente Por ese. Menos esta parte. ¿Cómo? Por lo menos esta parte es muy linda. Sí, sí eso es lo que, lo que estaba viendo. Solo dije, ah, hay un barrio chino, no sabía. ¿Lo que es una bandejita? ¿Cómo? ¿Una bandejita que es? ¿Bandeja? Eh, sí. Mejor, ¿no? Si como aquí. Sí, le vas a poner alguna de esas. La salsa es igual, ¿no? Sí. Para poner. Ah, ok, me tomo asiento. Sí. All right. So we ordered a little mix of things let's see here it comes okay gracias so we got a shrimp meatballs on a stick and then we've got um, more shrimp or bigger shrimp uh, fried basically tomo nomas aquí las salsas esos Salsa de soja, salsa picante, picante. agridulce. ¿Agridulce este? Sí. ¿Y este es soya? Soya. Vale. Ok. Let's see. So we have a 
agridulce and a spicy. A sour, what do you call it? Agridulce, sweet and sour at the same time. Uh, no, yes, sweet and sour at the same time, and then a spicy one. And soy sauce, the good classic Chinese soy sauce. Let's go. Let's give this a go. I'm excited for this. Let's try. Get some of the spicy on here. Let's get. Start with one of the shrimps, the fried shrimps here. Get some of the spicy sauce. Get some of that sweet and sour. And of course, some soy sauce as well. And then we're gonna dive in. Let's give it a go here. Spicy sauce is really nice. Let's give it a bit more of that. Wow, and the sour and sweet, the agri dulce, the sweet and, sweet and sour thing here. Very unique to the Chinese kitchen, I think. That sweet and sour sauce is really, really nice. I can't really describe it that well, but it just goes really, really well. Let's try one of the, the meatball things here. Let's try and open it. That's how it looks on the inside. Interesting. I think she said it was shrimp meatballs as well. Get some of the spicy on. Get some of the sweet and sour. And the soy sauce, of course. And let's have a go at this one as well. Mm. Interesting, it's more vegetable taste I feel from this one. The, the full shrimp fried one here is definitely my favorite out of these two. That's crunchy and it's you have the shrimp in the middle, the full shrimp. It's gotta be the best one of the two. I'll finish this food here and then we'll try and find even more Chinese. I'm loving this. Chinese snacks in Argentina, who would have thought, eh? Let's go. Check this shop out over here. That is cool. That is some interesting drinks he has here. Hola. Hola. Todo eso son bebidas de China? Asiáticas. Asiáticas. Asiática. Japón, China. De Corea, Japón, China. Sí. ¿Tú de dónde eres? Malasia. ¿Cómo? Malaysia. 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 Oh, okay. You speak English? Yeah, I speak English. Okay. Which uh, bebida is the best? Which one is best? Okay. Uh, what type of drink? I have no idea what they are. This one is very Asian. Very Asian? Yeah, what it's is a lychee it? drink. It's an Asian fruit. It's a what? It's an Asian fruit. Leech. Leech. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How much is it? 700. 700? Yeah, yeah. Let's try one of these. Okay. That it's sounds very, very sweet. It's a sweet drink. It's a sweet one drink. Uh, Leech. Okay, one second here. Okay, I'm from. What's your name? Alejandro. Alejandro. Ah, that's not a Malaysian name. No, no. You're, born, I, you're born here? I'm born here, yeah. Oh, okay. But your parents? Malaysian? My father is from Malaysia and my mother from Taiwan. Mother from Taiwan? Yeah, yeah. Have you got any clue how this ended up being a, a China area, like a China town? Do you know? What do you mean? Like, why did this become a China town right here? Or what's the story I mean, behind early, how... Early years, mm -hmm. uh, Taiwanese immigrants come to Argentina and they, and they settle some, Settled in this, yeah, yeah. this part of the city. Yeah, but oh. then a lot of Chinese come and they, they turn like a Chinatown. Oh, okay, yeah, But yeah. it was a Taiwanese town. Before. More Taiwanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like over in China now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's difficult to open. Can you open it? 
Perfect. Good to stroll. All right. Thank you. I'll try. So we got ourselves. Check this store out once again. That is very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's kind of like a energy drink. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit like an energy drink. Wow. That is a funny drink. A little bit like an energy drink and a little bit between an energy drink and what would you call the other thing? Like a, a lollipop basically, a lollipop on a drink. It says only 147 calories which seems surprising to me. <laughs> Given that a, a coca-cola has like 400 calories or something like this. I don't know why Does Chinese people eat drink this with a straw? But there we go There finally someone was able to tell us the history behind Why this is a Chinese town a Chinatown actually it was Taiwanese That came here first and started settling in this area and then the Chinese came and sort of turned it into what's known as Chinatown here today. We even have Chinese merch shops like this with all these little statues, dragons, turtles lions monkeys all for good luck we have the incense kind of thingies down here and we've got the the good old chinese i don't really know what you call these kimonos shirt thingies with all the crazy colors on them this is more japanese i would say but take a look at that. Very interesting, eh? <laughs> Horses, all sorts of interesting. Dragon Ball said. <laughs> Big up to Dragon Ball if you used to watch that as a kid. Ciao, gracias. <laughs> Speaking Chinese there at the door. The, <laughs> the locals, I guess, the owner maybe, or friends of the owner. Oh. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. I didn't expect that at all coming here. And yeah, as the, as the guy in the, in the um, drink shop, corner shop there, was able to tell me that basically the story of why this is Chinatown comes from Taiwanese they came here first settled in this area and then afterwards the Chinese came and overpopulated or became more than the Taiwanese and then everything turned into basically Chinatown versus instead of being Taiwanese town or Taiwan town or whatever you would call it hello the rubbish bin or the rubbish collector it's coming so yeah they would all uh they would come here the the chinese as well and then they started settling here and now it's called chinatown instead of taiwan town much like you could say funny enough how it perspectivizes to what's going on over in that part of the world right now well not officially anyways at least it's more like taiwan seems to take more and more um precaution precautionary measures against uh, against what is um china that seems to be more and more interested in a little piece of taiwan and would you look at it we even have japanese ramen as well here 
big up to Chinatown. <laughs> this is my first time being anywhere near to some kind of Asian, Taiwanese, Chinese kind of culture Chinatown, Chinatown like really feels like there's a lot of China stuff going on. Very interesting. I'm enjoying this. Let's go and find some more, maybe some more food that we can enjoy here now that we found out why the story is behind why this is Chinatown. Check out some of this food. ¿Qué es lo mejor entre chop suey y chop suey es pasta o como? No, es aguaitura. ¿Cómo? De aguaitura. Aguaitura. Verdura. Sí. Ajá. Un pa tipo verdura salteado. ¿Cómo? No, no puede foto. No foto. No te gusta. Ah, okay. Chop suey. Aguaitura. De verdura. Okay. Eh, con pollo. Con carne, como mejor. No sé qué gusta vos. ¿Tú qué prefieres? So, me gusta pollo. ¿Pollo? Sí, son. Sí. Ok. ¿Un chop suey de pollo para mí? Sí, pero este es solo verduras. ¿sí? ¿Solo son verduras? Sí. ¿Con pollo? Sí. Sí, sí. Probaremos. No sé, no conozco mucho de la, de la, de la comida que hay, pero... Sí, porque es el... Uh -huh. Okay. Salteado o algo así. ¿Sí? Ah, suena bien. Probamos. Uno para comer aquí. Sí. Vale. Okay. Y. Mil Sí. Vale. Estoy haciendo como probando la comida en Chinatown. Como, como videos para YouTube. ¿Para YouTube? Ah, para YouTube. Exacto. Sí. Para Ahora mucho. mostrar un poco de, la, de lo que hay aquí. Yo no. Primera vez estoy probando ese tipo de comida. Para mí. ¿Vos son acá? No, de Dinamarca. Ah, Dinamarca. Denmark. Vikingos en el norte de Europa. Ah, so, uh, y, y no, sí, 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 sí. Ahí dice. ¿Tú de dónde? Yo soy de China. ¿De China? Sí. ¿Y cómo llegaste acá? ¿Eh? ¿Cómo llegaste por Argentina? Con mi esposo, casamento. ¿Con tu esposa? Sí. Esposo, perdón. Sí. ¿Que es de Argentina? Eh, no. ¿O China? China. ¿Y llegaron acá? Okay. All right. She doesn't know. She doesn't want me to film but her. But take a look at the shop. The shop is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, oh, I thought she was going to say something more there. The shop is really cool. But she doesn't want me to film her. But uh, she's actually really nice, as you could hear. <laughs> she really. She's quite chatty. She just doesn't want to be filmed. So that's. Fair enough, you have to respect that. I guess it's better if I sit on the other side there. More light. So I ordered something called the chop sway. Don't really have any idea what it is. But uh, it costs 1,100 pesos argentinos. So yeah, that's like three dollars, pretty much. So that's gonna be really interesting to try. Some kind of like uh, vegetables, Salted, I imagine, with some soy sauce, a bit spicy. It's gonna be fun. We'll see once the food arrives and we'll try it. Let's go. So the food has arrived. Take a look at that. So it's a mix of all sorts of veggies, some kind of... Oh my god, that's hot. Rice noodles or something like that. Ah no, bean sprouts. That's bean sprouts, that's what it is. These ones here. And some chicken. And then we have the soy sauce to put. Splash a good bit of that on top. And the sweet sour uh, agridulce. The sweet and sour. 
China's best sauce, I think. It seems to be the popular one here in this area here. So let's get a good bit of that on there as well. Mix it all up. And then get a good bite with a bit of everything. Take a look at that. very nice all the vegetables are barely cooked so they're very it's almost like a salad a chicken salad China's answer to a, a Caesar salad basically everything is very very crunchy I tell you what that is really nice normally not a fan of these things bean sprouts they are usually terrible in my opinion but here I didn't even know that that was in here but what else do we have spring onions some uh, celery uh, cucumber and chicken and onions of course and yes they are usually not a fan of bean sprouts but I tell you what in this dish it goes very well together Get some of the sweet and sour right on the on the speed on the fork here. Mm. Chinatown, what a surprise! As I said before, I didn't expect it to be this big, this full of China. This is the closest I've ever been to to that part of the world. I tell you what, it's very tasty. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Tienes esos uh, galletas de fortuna? Galletas fortuna? Galletita fortuna, ya. Yeah. Fortuna. Estos. Ah, eso. Exacto. Tres en cien. Ok. Este aquí. Vale. Eh... Okay. One, two, three. Los tres llevo. Así. Por suerte. ¿Y se puede comer esas galletas o cómo es? Para comer. ¿Cómo? Para comer. Entra ahí un papel para cuidar. Ah, okay. Se dice como una cosa de fortuna, algo así, ¿no? Vale, vale, vale. ¿Y usted de este dónde? ¿De Taiwán o de China? China, China. Beijing. Ah, okay. so, Beijing. Beijing. Sí. En la capital. Capital. ¿Y cuántos años han vivido acá? 30 años. 30 años. <risa> bueno, gracias. ¿Cuántos? 30 años. Sí. Y qué gran diferencia entre China y, y aquí, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Mucha diferencia. Pero acá más tranquilo. Esto. Más tranquilo. Sí. Aunque hay es bastante dos, grande, ¿no? Hay clientes. Sí. Claro, claro, claro. Gracias. Nos vemos. Chao, chao. All right. So we got ourselves a little trio of fortune cookies. Now we need to find a spot to sit down and try these fortune cookies. Let's head down this way. I see a bench down here in the sun. So you can actually eat these. I've always obviously heard about these before in stories, in, you know, whenever you talk about Chinese culture, fortune, fortune cookies always seems to come up. These people from Beijing have been living here for 30 years. Can you imagine that? From Beijing. That must be a big, big change. But yeah, they're not, they don't seem the most talkative, the Chinese versus, uh, that's, a, that's a big culture, culture thing, I guess, uh, compared to here in, in, in Latin America. Everybody here in Argentina, everybody is very talkative, but not in the, not the Chinese. So that's a, an interesting culture difference. They're a lot more serious in their, in their, almost like us 
in Europe <laughs> or in the north of Europe in, in the Viking countries. So let's see. Break it open here. Let's eat one half. And then there's a piece of paper there in the middle that we take out. Let's see, without breaking it. So it just says, Recuerda compartir la buena fortuna. Remember to share good fortune. And then some numbers on the bottom there. So, remember to share good fortune. And with that, piece of philosophy I think we'll end the video here and say thanks for watching remember to share some good fortune on this video drop a like hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video